Well, the holidays could bring a lot of excitement and maybe just a little bit of a touch of stress, right? Because we're all busy connecting with our family, our friends, food, and all the festivities, so it can get pretty overwhelming. Well, our next guest lives a pretty busy life herself, to put it mildly. She's a mom, an actress, an author, a producer, and a TV host. So when the holidays are here, she knows the hustle and bustle challenges, and she has some tips for us this morning on how we can cope. We're so happy to welcome to the show this morning, Allison Sweeney, host of TV's The Biggest Loser. Good morning, Allison. So good to see you. Oh, good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. How do you handle the holidays with all that you've got going on on your plate? You're right. I mean, it's just a lot to keep track of and it's it can be very overwhelming. But I think, you know, I'm definitely a tech girl. I love my gadgets and I think they can really be useful in helping you not just stay organized in what you need to accomplish, but they can also help you, you know, stay connected. And I have my, you know, Windows phone right here ready for anything. I can take pictures. I can, you know, check my calendar. And um, what I love is also I can get, you know, work done. Where's my um, app for the office? I have, um, you know, my scripts sent to me, but I can also uh, talk to my kids, you know, and, and send them silly pictures and have fun and, and get some online shopping done too, you know. So I think there's great ways to use technology to your advantage and to help it relieve holiday stress as opposed to, you know, getting overwhelmed by everything. You know, I understand you do use a lot of technology to stay connected, especially during the holidays. But here's the thing, Allison, some might argue that technology isn't really personal. It's not what the holidays are all about. It's about staying connected personally. But how does technology help you balance your life? Well, like for me, you talk, your show's perfect, The Balancing Act. For me, I think there is a compromise between getting it all done and, and allowing technology to help you have personal connections with people. So, you know, I keep my, my Windows PC with me. It's literally less, uh, it's it's lighter than my script at Days or Her Lives. It's so light. But I have, you know, video chat time with my kids if I'm on set. So that's totally a chance to connect and be personal with my family. And I'm making my parents their Christmas present. I'm making a video of all of the Aww. cute little shots and, um, you know, not just uh, stills, but little videos that I took of my kids throughout the year. And I'm editing a little movie for them. And I just think those kinds of gifts are, are priceless. Mm. And it's just the perfect way for me to use technology to, um, you know, give a really personal, fun gift that I know my parents are going to love. And by the way, I can keep this thing with me all, all the time when I'm on set and I can get it done while I'm working. Isn't that funny? You know, we're multitasking. As moms and women, we multitask anyway. That's what we do. So. It totally. <laughs> and speaking of multitasking, you're the host of the hit show, The Biggest Loser. Yet the holidays, as we know, are filled with some really delicious food. And so how do you stick to a healthy diet with all you're, the tempting foods around? You're totally right. I mean, there's lots of tempting, delicious things out there this holiday season. And I'm certainly not going to be the one to tell you not to even take a bite because I know I will. And mm -hmm. I, so I try to find a balance of of having some treats once in a while, picking the right event or party where I am going to indulge a little bit, but also making sure that the rest of the time I am focused on my healthy lifestyle and uh, eating, you know, great things. And I have lots of recipes in my book, The Mommy Diet, um, that I cook from home because mm -hmm. I love I love cooking anyway. But I think you get healthier meals when you when you make stuff at home, and then maybe you arm yourself with like a full belly. You know, you ate a good meal, mm -hmm. and then you go to the party. So maybe you're not as tempted by the the buffet. Of of, of delicious, bad for you foods, you know? Not even the sweet potato pie that's at the end of the buffet line? Exactly. <laughs> and maybe just a tiny little sliver. I mean, I'm just saying, put it out there. Maybe That's just right. a little thinner, smaller portion, there you know? You and, and, you know, The Biggest Loser does have great tips. So I think you can balance it out if you just, you know, pay attention and, and don't, um, don't let it all just disappear. Well, you know, you are committed to living a healthy lifestyle. Does this affect your gift buying habits? Uh, it does because I want to not only um, take care of myself, but I do want to set a good example. I do want to make sure that people in my life know how important their health is. And if I can send that message in a fun way by giving them a yoga mat, you know, for the holidays, mm. that's what I'm going to do because I think they need it. You know, I think they need a, a reminder of how important it is to take care of themselves. Um, and in my family, you know, I'm going to get them the Xbox Connect mm. because um, I think we can all play together as a family, have a good time, and get active 
live and be silly and and have fun but interact together and uh, goof around too so I and they won't even know they're working out no that's what I love all right so you've got technology on the one hand you've got this healthy lifestyle on the other hand and I love what you talked about at the top about being able to stay connected and I think that's a terrific gift to give as well so where can Absolutely. we go Allison for more information you can go to microsoft.com slash family and get great gift ideas um, there for good technology items that help you stay connected. That sounds good. Allison, thank you so much for joining us today and for helping us with our holiday shopping. And always good to see you. Yeah, nice to talk to you too. All right, take care. Bye. And if you'd like more information on Allison Sweeney, be sure to check out her website. It's allisonsweeney.com.